James, you're in one of the most fantastic series there is possibly around at the moment, Game of Thrones. Everybody loves it. Tell me a little bit what you enjoy about being as an actor and playing your character. Well, I think one of the joys of being in Game of Thrones is the, the richness and the characterisation of the whole show. Um, Lord Mormont, who I play in the show, wonderfully complex, noble old character with a huge backstory. Um, that's the thing, uh, George writes with such uh, meticulous uh, attention to the back history makes everything really interesting for an actor. So, yeah, it's, it's um, uh, many faceted, it's terrific working. How do you find getting to grips with all that backstory? Because you say there's so much there with Lord Mormont, isn't there? Yeah, there is, uh, and you, you have to almost uh, cut away a bit of it, you know, and, and just work with the script that you have. Uh, but it's, it's great just to have read a bit of it and then. Um, uh, so you know where the guy's coming from, although the audience doesn't, you do, you know, so it's, it's fascinating. It, and not often do you get that in a, in a television uh, situation, you know, where there's so much material to source from. You mentioned you've gone back to the books there. I mean, I wonder how much ahead do you keep or do you try and keep just where your character is in the TV series or do you want to kind of tantalise yourself with where he might be going? No, I, I just stick to... Uh, where the character is at that point, you know, because I think it might muddy the water a bit, you know, if you say, oh, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, you know. I think it's best just to keep uh, keep abreast of it. What have you enjoyed most about playing Lord Marmont so far? What are his particular scenes and memorable moments he's had on the small screen? Uh, a couple of times, uh, the very beginning, when he's um, introducing them all to the, the Night's Watch, that was a pretty awesome scene. Uh, really enjoyed that, and I really enjoyed filming in Iceland, which is amazing. If extremely cold, uh, but it is astonishing. It's a beautiful, beautiful country. How long were you out there, and what did you enjoy about being there most? Uh, I was out there, we were out there for a couple of weeks, and uh, just the isolation and the purity of the place, and it suits the story so wonderfully, um, because that pristine, snowbound landscape, you know, where things die if they're not, you know, completely warm, is amazing. <laughs> amazing. What are you looking forward to happening in season three and what are you looking forward to us actually seeing on the screen? I think it's going to be a terrific season. It's going to be the best yet um, because everything really kicks off, you know. Uh, and obviously I can't say what's going to happen, but it's going to be very exciting and very surprising. <laughs> Is that something you like as an actor, continually surprising the audience? Well, uh, not so much me, but I think HBO and George Martin, the way they have managed to, you know, look with, with Sean Bean at the beginning, that, that everyone follow, you know, he's the lead, he's the main storyline, and then he dies. It's a terribly clever way of wrong-footing the audience, so they have to immediately start looking for someone else to follow. And if you were picking one of the other characters who's kind of your favourite in the series at the moment, apart from Lord Mormon, obviously, who would you say? Oh, I think... Uh, Peter Dinklage part, you know, who's he's tremendous in it, you know, but it, it must be great fun to play, really great fun. But nearly every character in the whole book has has is, is interesting. There's no there's no you know one dimensional characters and that stuff, you know. It's tremendous work. Do you get to hang out with the guys off set a little bit, and and if so, what do you get up to, and what's the atmosphere like on set? Um, well, obviously, you only work with the people that are in your storyline, you know, so people say, oh, how's it like working with such... I've never seen him, never met him, you know, because they're in Croatia or Morocco, and I'm in Belfast, you know. Um, but, um, yeah, and the days are quite long when you're working, so um, it's, it's a serious job, you know, but we all appreciate that we're in a, a wonderful show that will go on and and uh, be remembered for many years. So it's, everybody's got a pretty positive feeling about it. What's it like when you're in Belfast filming? And obviously it's all part of the magic of TV and film, isn't it? But then you're kind of bringing this whole different world to the small screen. Yeah, um, and where the wall is just outside Belfast looks tremendous, you know. Can't tell you the first time you arrive there, you know, and you just think, oh, there's another television show. And you walk on and you see the wall. It's astonishing. You know, and he really, I've been in the business uh, 45 years now, and I was blown away by it, so that's saying a bit. Yeah. That's certainly saying something, isn't it? I mean, it sounds like if you weren't even in the show, you'd be a huge fan of it as well. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's a great piece of work. And uh, HBO, they seem to, to know exactly what they're doing. Every single time, every show they do is just 
on the money. It's a great company to work for. What do you think we can look forward to happening in terms of the number of series that we're going to have? Because obviously we know how many books there are, but obviously we're on season three at the moment. Well, I believe that um, because of the incredible popularity of the show that they may be, it was one season, one book, but now they may be, because there's so much in every book, they can quite easily put two seasons into one book. You know, they just make it richer and open it out and the audience will love it even more. So I wouldn't be surprised not one of the longest running shows um, I would say maybe it could be eight ten years I think so yeah that would be fantastic wouldn't it yeah it really would yeah yeah but it's I think it's one of these programs that would never they, they would um, they would cut it before it ever became stale but I think there's so much there that's not going to happen I was going to say, I can't actually ever imagine Game of Thrones becoming stale. There's such a fan base for it there as well. Yeah, yeah, and there's so much attention to detail, to to translating George Martin's work to the screen, uh, and the the technical staff and uh, the directors so meticulous. Um, yeah, it'll be it'll always be a great show. There's, nobody's ever going to be disappointed in Game of Thrones. I mean, in terms of things like production design and costumes, they've got it beautifully done. I mean, as an actor, how does that help inform your acting, your role playing Lord Mormont? It makes a huge difference, you know, when, when you can get into a costume that feels right, that you know that someone's put a lot of time and effort, read the books, knows exactly why he would be wearing this, uh, how he would feel in this, how, the, how they would be in the cold. What, everything about it is... Everyone's working so hard to put together what's on the screen because all the money's on the screen. It's great. Is there anything that surprised you so far about Lord Mormont or anything that's happened in the show you thought, gosh, I wasn't expecting that to happen? No, because I was, I was so, sort of aware of what Mormont was and where he was going, you know, so I was very secure in, in his character and uh, just couldn't wait to go on and start doing it. <laughs> And what do fans normally kind of talk to you about when they when they come and talk to you at events like Comic Con? And why do they like Mormont? Do you think? Um, I think Mormont has um, well, the fans seem to think that Mormont has a great deal of um, gravitas and dignity. He's a he's a very um, anchoring sort of character. Uh, provides all these young men with uh, a sort of older role model, and uh, he's he's a great guy. He's he's the type of guy who would like to lead an army. You know, you trust him. Yeah. And you feel you play that role in the cast as well a little bit? Oh, I don't know about that. No. I'm a bad boy in the quiet. Are you? <laughs> you a bit of a prankster on set? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> what have you been getting up to lately then? Oh, nothing, a bit of gardening. <laughs> no, I'm too busy to do anything, thank goodness. So just finally, are there any particular scenes that you've enjoyed working with other the stars in the show this season in particular? Um, I always like working with uh, the younger members of the cast. We have a lot of fun doing that, you know, and seeing them struggling up glaciers and falling over <laughs> provides me with a great deal of mirth. Do you ever think, yeah, I'm not doing that? <laughs> yeah, I'm way too long in the tooth to do that. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. And uh, anything else you'd like to say to the Game of Thrones fans out there? Uh, just I'm so glad that they're all enjoying it. It's uh, a real pleasure and privilege to be part of the show and uh, keep watching, thank you.